This is a time for optimism. Now on Fox 17 Morning News, President Biden hoping to have 100 million COVID vaccines in the arms of Americans by the end of today. Why the timing of this milestone comes at such an important time. High pressure and control this weekend. That means a gorgeous weekend is planned with unseasonably warm temperatures. Your West Michigan forecast and all the details up next. It's allowed you know more women to feel good into this space and then they're finding just amazing benefits. Local cannabis companies say marijuana use is on the rise in women. How it's led to a boom in business and the health benefits doctors uh, say it could provide. From the station with the most local news in our West Michigan, Fox 17 Morning News at 6 starts right now. Well, good uh, Friday morning. Apparently, I already can't see through my glasses, but it's close to 6 o'clock. I'm Mike Avery. <laughs> All right, well, you work on that. Yeah. I'm Deanna Falzone. Davis, anything you want to add? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> We're off. To I'm here. Yeah. Yes, you are, buddy. We're here, but are we really here? All right, <laughs> hi, Kevin. Hi, how are you guys doing? It's Friday. Yeah, it is indeed. Yes, great weather. I thought there was something more there, but I guess not. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to a Friday morning. We've cleared the skies out. We've got a great weekend plan weather-wise in the tower cam shot here in Grand Rapids. Uh, you can't see it, but we've got clear skies out there. Temperatures in the upper 20s to around the 30 degree mark. There is nothing on radar right now. You can see that radar scan going around fairly quickly. That is likely what we refer to as clear air mode. So it scans a little bit quicker because there's not much to pick up and uh, yeah, no precipitation around the region, even as we head well off about 800, 900, 1,000 miles to the north and west, there's no cloud cover out there either. Here's our current temperatures, 26 up there in Big Rapids, 28 in Grand Rapids and Ionia, 29 in Holland. We're as warm as 30 degrees in Benton Harbor, 29 degrees right now in Kalamazoo. And hello to you folks in Battle Creek, we're 28 degrees there. As we look at our forecast for today, it's a simple one, folks. Mid-20s at 7 a.m. with clear skies, just plain sunny skies at noon, 42 degrees there. And by 5 p.m., we top out at highs in the upper 40s with just plain sunny skies. And as I promised yesterday, Yesterday. Windy conditions yesterday, not so much today. We'll have a much lighter wind out of the northeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. The question you folks are probably wondering, how long will this type of awesome weather uh, continue and how warm will it get? We'll answer all that coming up in the main weather forecast in just a few minutes, so stay tuned for that. Breaking now from Fox 17 News. Breaking overnight, crews are still on the scene following a large fire at an industrial building. Our Sarah Grimmer joining us live on the southwest side in Grand Rapids this morning. Sarah? This is a time for optimism. Now on Fox 17 Morning News, President Biden hoping to have 100 million COVID vaccines in arms of Americans by the end of today. By the timing of this milestone comes at such an important time. And another gorgeous, sun-filled weekend is upon us, but how long will it last? Well, we'll see. Your West Michigan forecast is straight ahead. It's allowed you know, more women to feel good into this space, and then they're finding just amazing benefits. Local cannabis companies say marijuana use is on the rise in women. How it's led to a boom in business and the health benefits doctors say it could provide. From the station with the most local news in our West Michigan, Fox 17 Morning News at 7 starts right now. Well, happy Friday. Thanks so much for waking up with us this morning. I'm Deanna Falzone. And I'm Mike Avery. Thank you for being with us. We certainly appreciate it on this Friday morning. And it looks like the temperatures and the sun makes for some fun, so Kevin. So excited for the weekend. Yes, sir. Yes, man. How about maybe washing the car? I would even say uh, you'll be warm enough to throw a coat of wax on it, or maybe if you want to get out around the yard, this would be a great time before everything blooms, I think, to maybe do some selective pruning. Maybe if you've got some trees or something, you want to do that with uh, just an idea, just a thought. Uh, I would not go so far as to put the snow blower away because we've been spoiled with the sunshine and the nice weather. We can get snow all the way into the month of May. I'm not saying that's going to happen this year, but you might just want to hang on before you go putting that away. And that said, 
I don't have any snow in the forecast, but I'm just saying it can still be cold in the month of April and even into May. So hang on with that thought, but we are going to have a great weekend here. Still dark outside. Our sunrise not coming up until 747 this morning. I don't have anything on radar out there. Uh, it is dry and uh, we've got clear skies for the most part. We pull out to a wider perspective. If we took this map out even further, we've got clear skies all the way out to the front range of the northern Rockies. We're 25 degrees right now in uh, Big Rapids, 28 in Grand Rapids, 29 in Kalamazoo. And as we look at your planner, it's a simple one. We've got 28 degrees right now at 7 a.m. with clear skies out there. As we go forward to noon, we're in the low 40s with just plain Jane sunny skies. We're looking for sunshine through the afternoon hours with highs topping out in the upper 40s and a lot less wind today than we had yesterday. Generally out of the northeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. The gorgeous weather continues this weekend with temperatures soaring into the 60s by Sunday. We'll look at when our next chance of rain arrives. And I said there is no snow in the forecast. There's other things to talk about, which we'll do coming up in my forecast in just a few minutes. Right now, it's coming up on 701 for this Friday morning. Let's check traffic. Here to do that, Rob Westerby. In Fox 17 traffic, we're looking good on the freeways. Haven't picked up any speed data with any delays. Uh, we do have a crash here uh, there, uh, mainly the one in Muskegon that I mentioned before. We'll show you the location. Uh, it is at Sherman and Seaway, and that involved injuries. So it usually takes a little longer to get a crash cleared because of medical attention first, then uh, taking care of clearing out the vehicles. Beyond that, on the freeways, we are free and clear and at full speeds all around West Michigan. Glitch, however, because of a crash overnight, the traffic signal at 36th Street at 131 has, uh, is, is, is not functioning. And so you see in this screenshot from the MDOT camera at 131 and 36th Street that's, that the stop signs are up, turning this one into a three-way stop at the top of this particular ramp and on 36th Street, just before going over the bridge at 131. You may encounter a delay if with heavier traffic later this morning. Delays can be expected possibly with new construction next week, including a left lane closure on northbound and southbound 31 across the bridges at the Grand River. The lane closure stretches all the way from Jackson Street and Grand Haven to 3rd Street and Ferrysburg in both directions. Left lane is going to start to be closed. This is the beginning of a bridge repair project and some upgrades being done to the Bascule Bridge that will take uh, actually two seasons because they're going to not work or have lane closures during the uh, sort of the, the high season of, of summer. So this particular lane closure is only going to go into May. We'll also be looking for uh, bridge work being done on the uh, Spring Lake Channel Bridge, but that's later on M104. Right now, on Monday, expect lane closures on 31. I'm Rob West of e Fox 17 Traffic. Breaking now from Fox 17 News. Breaking overnight, crews are still on the scene following a large fire at an industrial building. Sarah Grimmer joining us live on the southwest side of Grand Rapids. Sarah, good morning. Good morning to the both of you. This fire was so massive this morning, it took 45 firefighters and 15 fire trucks to battle those flames. Now, as the sun starts to come up, you can see some of that damage on the roof for yourself. 